much, Heine. Um, yeah, our, our award, our Thank You Very Much Award, we started with Mr. Brody, um, turned 90. Lex was actually in the first graduating class at Roosevelt High School, which is nearby. Um, I actually graduated in 86, and actually have been at Lex Brody since then. <laughs> uh, it's been a great place to work. Um, one of the cool things we get to do with, with, the, with the business is we get to give back to the community. It's the funnest part of the job. So like I mentioned, we started this award when Lex turned 90. He always used to say thank you very much in his commercials, and it was his subtle message of when it wasn't appropriate to say thank you, and that's all the time, because he was basically thanking the public for simply watching his commercial. And as Tiny mentioned, this is the 14th year. We're having our 117th winner today. And with every family that we meet and every student that we meet and everyone that we've seen that's been touched by these letters, it's amazing the relationship building and healing power of a simple thank you can do. So thank you very much for participating and congratulations in all the wonderful letters. But we're gonna bring up Jessica Liu. Jessica? Mom, thank you for raising me to be the best I can be. Thank, thank you for the happy memories. Thank you for always being there for me. Without you, I don't know where I would be. I would like to take this opportunity to not only thank you for all you've done, but to also apologize for all I've done. I know I don't appreciate you enough. You sacrificed so much to raise me, and you put up with so much to give me more than I could ever want it. I am beyond grateful. I'm so sorry I didn't realize it when I was younger. Ever since I was little, you taught me to always work hard and to never give up. You have always told me to exceed my expectations. Doing so has enabled me to achieve more than I could have ever thought possible. Words can't describe how much I look up to you. I know you didn't go to school, and I know that English isn't your first language, but you never use your setbacks as an excuse. Thinking back, it sends pangs of apathy to my heart. You constantly told me that I'd understand the struggles when I'm older. Growing up now, I realized that your life was, n was less than a happy fairy tale I thought I lived in. For that, I say thank you for trying to give me the perfect life you didn't have. Thank you so much for taking the time to write that very beautiful letter. I'm sure that really was touching for her when she read it. Did you give it to her already, or is she? Yeah. yeah. How did she react when you first gave it to her? She, I actually texted a picture because I sent my original copy to, oh. yeah, and she read it, and she, she said that she was super happy, and she didn't know I can write that well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's amazing what... When it comes from the heart, right? When it comes from the heart, you're not really overthinking it. You're just sharing how you feel. And that's, that's the beauty that comes through the letter. So congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Scott, can you mention one more time about the prize, the $500 that, that the class gets? Yeah, on top of um, these fun little gifts, the students that participate with our program, the class actually gets a $500 grant. And it's from the Lex Brody Tire Company Foundation, but it's pretty much whatever you and the teacher and your classmates decide you want to do with it. Um, it's a little late in the year, but we also, hopefully you guys may be able to do this during the summer, we also give a class field trip to Coconut Island in Kone, uh, Kaneohe Bay. So it's actually up to 40, 40 people, um, which actually it's an oceanography and ocean conservation field trip that you get to catch plankton in, in the water on the way out to the island and you look at it in the UH laboratories. It's a really, really cool trip. So. Hopefully you guys are able to put that together over the summer. Um, and it, it's, again, all this is just for just taking the time to say thank you. So Mr. Reed, you were actually the main guy who helped make this function. It's our own assembly for the Thank You Very Much Award. We thank you for that. And uh, you're from Indiana, you said. I am from Indiana. I retired from teaching science in Indiana and came here just to teach at Quantico Middle School. <laughs> hey, he can pronounce that pretty well, class. He just came from the middle of the states. So, failed science. <laughs> <laughs> tell us how you see and perceive this thank you very much. You know, in Hawaiian it's mahalo, and uh, what do you see the difference yeah, here I see in Hawaii? It's a big mahalo because nothing's more important than thanking people for, that have influenced your life. And, and Jessica wrote an amazing letter to her mother, and it's obvious her mother had a, had a rough time. And so just to give back a little and thank those people is hugely important. I thank people all the time, and I think everybody should do that. All right.
appreciate that. Now, you mentioned your mom was surprised you wrote so well. Now, you know what you can do. Uh, tell us what inspired you to write this letter, because it was pretty deep and meaningful. Well, my mom has been through a lot when she was little. She had to work at the sugarcane fields and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And she has given me the life that I could never ask for. That's great. And you conveyed that well in your letter. Another hand for Jessica and the Thank You Very Much Award, sponsored by Lex Brodies at Kawananakoa Middle School. Thank you for watching, Lex Brodies. Thank you very much, Ward, on Spectrum OC 16. I love you, Mom. <laughs>